<laughs> but hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends 2020 release of Venom. If trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button to support this channel. And wow, this is a figure I've been wanting for a minute ever since we saw the Monster Venom. I've wanted him repainted so that we have an Eddie Brock right over here. I don't know why people are angry about it. But anyway, great looking packaging over here. Very subtle purple webbing pattern going on throughout over here. Really cool. I like it. Anyway, on the side, you can see a nice image of Venom. And then on the back, you can see a product shot. Then there's a read-up over here in several languages. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's Venom again. And then we get this interesting Venom logo right here. Almost looks like spray painted on a wall or something. Looking pretty neat. And again, you can see that webbing ever so subtly added to the black packaging over there i think that looks really neat anyway not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's our new venom figure out of the packaging and in a wall crawling pose uh, this is a pretty tricky pose to get the figure into but uh, quite rewarding i had a lot of fun taking pictures of him like this and yeah pretty fun taking pics but yeah uh, same figure as before new paint apps so let's just get a closer look <laughs> So while I have no qualms with Hasbro selling us a repainted Venom figure, I mean, imagine repainting this to the Eddie Brock colors, you get this really massive Eddie Brock. I really do think they could have given us a bit more as far as paint goes. Uh, first off, I was kind of hoping for some green slime on the tongue. That would have been neat, you know, adding something different. And then this thing with the teeth over here, uh, the top portion of the teeth is just a perfect flat line, and that's not how it should look. It looked so much better on the previous head sculpt. Look at that, you know? The, the, the teeth paint actually makes a shape of teeth as opposed to it being this flat row. Also, I like how we get a little bit more of a tannish hue to the teeth with the Mac Gargan Venom right here as opposed to this one with the Eddie Brock. It's much lighter color. So having, you know, a little bit more detail here, just adding a little bit more would have been nice. But, you know, you can see the sculpt is the same and everything. And if you're frustrated enough with that where you want to swap the heads, of course that'll fit on there. But looking at it pretty close, I mean, it, it just doesn't match up. I guess maybe from farther away, we'll take a look again farther away when I get to the size comparisons. But looking at the blue over black, it does look really good. I do like that part of it, like especially on the top of the head right here. That looks great. The sculpt throughout on the figure is just amazing. You have the same tendril pieces sticking out right over here. I do think the white deco came out very clean on this figure. I'm not really that upset about it you know, at all. I think it looks really good. There are some parts where it looks a little fuzzy, where it could have been a little bit cleaner, but I gotta say, for the most part, it looks great. It looks like they used multiple colors or multiple coats of white. Ooh, you can see some blue seeping out right there. But, you know, I think they did a good job with this part of the figure, you know. I, there's a lot of white paint on there, and that makes me happy. Again, I like the blue right over here. Very subtle amounts of blue over the top. You know, they're trying to capture the highlights, so they're going to give you more of those blue highlights towards the top of the figure. And then we have the white parts right over here on the back of the hands. And it looked like it was sculpted on there. It's not. It just ends right around the hinge, which is a smart move. You don't want it going over the hinge. I do wish we had interchangeable hands, too. I thought that would have been a cool thing to throw in there as well. Uh, if I move the joint back as far as it'll go, you, which it already is at, you can see all the white paint. If I move it all the way forward and look at the back of the figure, you can see there's no black exposed right there. So that's really good there to throw with that. And looking at the legs, again, the beautiful blue paint over black just looks fantastic. Just very happy with that. I love that look. Looks really good right here on the shins, and of course on the feet, and he still has the peg holes. Oh, can't forget the Venom butt, there you go. Man butt lovers gotta see the Venom butt, there you go. So because this body mold's been reviewed already, I'm trying just a different idea over here with the articulation segment. If it sucks, eh, I'm sorry, but hey, something new. Figured we'll see how it goes, if it's worth the extra time putting into the stop motion. I don't know, let me know if you enjoy this or not. Now to measure out this new Eddie Brock Monster Venom figure, you can see that he's standing just under the 8 inch mark. And then for your Monster Venom comparison, we have the Eddie Brock version and the Mac Gargan version, and they both look fantastic. I really like this body mold a lot for Venom, and it just looks great with both versions over here. I am happy to have both in my collection. Uh, not just to do a head swap from a little farther away, doesn't look as bad, but when you're much farther away like this, you can't really appreciate the details that this head sculpt has that this one doesn't have, so it's kind of a moot point right over here. You might as well just put them right back the way they came. And then here's our brand new Eddie Brock figure next to what I consider to be the fan favorite Toy Biz Venom figures from Marvel Legends. We 
have the Sinister Six Pack, Venom right over here. Muchas gracias, Daniel. And we have the amazing Spider-Man slash Toy Biz Marvel Legends Venom figure. And I have considered this one to be my favorite Venom figure in my collection. I love this Venom right here as well. I know a lot of people love this one too. I still love this figure, but this may be my new favorite Marvel Legends Venom. I can't say for sure right now at the moment. I like that it's only a tiny bit taller than this Venom right over here, but yeah. Time will tell if this will end up being my favorite Venom figure for the moment, but yeah, we'll see. Let me know out of these three which one is your favorite. And then here's our new Hasbro Venom next to a couple other older Hasbro Venoms that we'd seen in the past, and I do want to try some head swapping. Whoop, once again, sorry other Venom. Alright, we have a tiny head on a big old Venom. That does not work. And I did bust out an Eddie Brock head sculpt just to see, and uh, that's not working out as well. It's got such a tiny head. I guess maybe with certain close-ups it could? No. No, it's just, it's so tiny. Then to compare this Venom figure next to some import Venoms, we have the Mafex Venom and the Revel Tech Amazing Yamaguchi Venom. And I gotta say, over time, uh, I have been liking this Mafex Venom a whole lot less and less. I, I'm just not the biggest fan of this Venom. Just so small. Even McFarlane's original drawings, he was not not that small. And then we have our new Venom figure next to some other Venoms out of scale. We have the Marvel Select Venom, and then we have the Toy Biz Marvel Icons Venom. Thank you so much, Jaime. And I'm very curious to see how a head swap will look with these two right now. No, oh, it doesn't match the peg. It doesn't match the peg. But if it did match the peg, it could look kind of cool, right? Venom party, yeah! We are Venom. 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 I am Groot. And then I wanted to get a couple of classic Spideys to compare over here. We have have the Mafex comic version 2.0 and then we have the Pizza Spidey. I will be giving away one of these Mafex 2.0 comic Spidey figures away on my crowdfunding site in April. And then I wanted to compare this Venom next to a couple Carnage figures. We have the Marvel Legends Carnage and the Marvel Select Carnage. Man, if this Carnage was just a little bit smaller or maybe if this Venom was just a little bit taller, I think these two could have really worked together. I don't know. And then here's Venom next to a couple Build-A figures. We have Lizard and Juggernaut. And I'm not going to get too obscure with comparisons. I've noticed a lot of up and coming reviewers have been showing their figures next to a whole bunch of random figures that have nothing to do with the figure they're reviewing. What the hell is that? And here's Venom next to Snoke. And here's Venom next to Starscream. And here's Venom next to Diamond Select Toys Katara. And here he is next to the Green Ranger. Here he is next to Wonder Woman. Here he is next to Bebop. Here he is next to 3-0 Optimus Prime. Here he is next to Scourge. Here he is next to Beast of the Mesozoic Velociraptor. And here's Venom next to Spawn. Okay, this is actually a cool one. And then here's our new Venom figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. <laughs> hey man, just because you've gotten buffed and everything doesn't mean I'm into dudes. No, I'm still not into I said I'm not into dudes! So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support what I do here on YouTube. If you want to participate in supporting the channel, you can do so by clicking the link below. You'll also participate in the giveaways. I just posted a new giveaway for the Marvel Legends Captain America's ass. So if you want to see that, check the link below. I gotta say, throughout the course of this review, especially during the stop motion segment, I did find the hips to get very wobbly for me, so that is a gripe that I I have but otherwise I'm very pleased with this piece it's a repaint that I wanted to see happen and here it is and I'm pretty happy with it I don't know yet if I would consider it the best Marvel Legends Venom but still at the price point of around 30 to 35 bucks I'm giving this figure a sud rating of I love it and I'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know if you want to see the latest in Marvel news you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and don't forget to follow me over on the social media on Instagram Twitter and Twitch and I'll catch you guys later Later. Peace! Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.